everyone and uh, welcome to the second part of the combo device the GPS with uh, dual uh, lens uh, DVR camera capabilities uh, there are some things to mention about this device uh, you have uh, seen in the first part that uh, it has a reversing camera uh, this is also a dual uh, DVR so uh, when uh, you are not reversing it will also record the, the rear camera image and uh, you will have also a camera in the back of your car and this one is the main lens camera so you have two cameras and a GPS unit, an Android GPS unit I'm going to show you now how easy it is to install and to see if we can get some uh, GPS signal and of course some driving footage on it so I'm going to use uh, this uh, spot this is a very good thing, it's very heavy as I shown you, it's uh, kind of a rubber and here it has that uh, sticky kind of silicone uh, thing and this will simply just attach to the dashboard and it will hold, it will grip very nice it will not slip and being very heavy it will uh, keep uh, this device so the connectors will go into the up part of the DVR and this will just slide in like that I'm going to put it something like this for you to see it better uh, as a normal position would be somewhere here but I want you to see the details on the screen so I'm going to connect the rear camera for which I'm going to show you a picture how I have a temporary installed it just by using a regular suction cup so the camera connector will go on the top and now if I supply power to the unit It, would, it will automatically start and it will uh, start on DVR mode as uh, the option is uh, default set by on it will take a bit of time to boot because it's Android operating system and now that we are in the uh, main menu, as you can see, it has switched to DVR mode. Uh, this is the front camera, and here we have the rear camera. I can click on rear camera to make it big, and this is the main camera. The DVR is already recording, as you can see here, the red dot here. This means that we are now recording. If I want to start the navigation, I can go to my applications, and here you get a notification that background recording is currently working and I can click on navigation and this will load my GPS navigation software let's see if we can get some uh, satellites so I'm going to click on tools GPS info and we already have one satellite here uh, this uses multiple uh, types of positioning first it has a real GPS antenna inside but it can also use uh, signal from Wi-Fi devices accelerometer for improving accuracy and so on so it has also assisted GPS but uh, it's based on a real GPS antenna which should provide much better accuracy and should work also in environments where you don't have mobile data wireless and so on and we have uh, GPS uh, lock uh, there's already a fourth satellite coming in uh, you need at least three to get the positioning uh, it uh, took about uh, 60 seconds from cold start this was a completely cold start so it's first time acquiring satellites after the device was uh, powered on and uh, it's uh, first time in uh, uh, more than uh, 24 hours and uh, this does not download the file from the internet to accelerate that I may install a patch for that uh, there are some application that uh, will download some assistant data to uh, get satellites even faster but for me one minute it's uh, normal and uh, it's usual for uh, real GPS units and now I got positioning it's all so working fine so let's see if I go onto the map there it is so I'm already positioned on the map I got the lock so it's fine with that 
and it uh, has very good precision, especially with uh, Map Factor Navigator uh, application. This uh, uses the OpenStreetMap, so it's always up to date. You can even contribute yourself to the map, so you can improve it. And uh, it's very, very good, and it's also free. All right, so as you have seen, GPS works fine. It takes one minute to uh, get a lock. And uh, all these times, the uh, recording from the front and the back cameras also work because the weather outside is terrible. It's dark, it's cloudy. Uh, I'm going to use uh, some driving samples taken in another time because otherwise, you, won't, uh, you will only see uh, car splashes, lots of rain on the windshield. That's the ideal uh, way to test the camera. But I'm going to add some low light footage because that is also important uh, from a very early driving uh, hour and uh, we'll see how uh, that works for now. I'm going to show you how the FM transmitter works. So I'm going to power on uh, the car radio and I'm going to choose a space where there is no uh, radio station, a place in the frequency. And now I'm going to go to the FM transmitter settings. I'm going to enable it and go on to the same frequency in my case is uh, uh, 107.7 and you can see in the moment i have chosen the correct frequency there is a complete silence uh, in the radio static there is no additional noise and let's uh, do some uh, playback of something so i go I'm going to go to the uh, dvr menu and choose from here a uh, video sample that I have previously recorded. So I'm going to select the day and choose a recording done today. Uh, it should be a sample from the car and you should hear me in the radio. Alright, so I'm going to select this file. And uh, that uh, is my voice in uh, the car speakers through the FM transmitter. And uh, you can see that it is uh, useful if you want to use this as a media device, if you want to listen to music while you drive, or uh, use the GPS and uh, hear it better in the car speakers, you can also do that. So. This uh, tuner really has uh, its uh, uses, but I'm going to turn it off for now. Let's also check now the GPS status, let's see if it has worked in the background. So I'm going to go into GPS info and look at that. We have a lot of satellites and some of them have really good uh, uh, strengths so the positioning will be very accurate very good that's very nice so you can see it uh, performs very well in uh, that department now I'm going to add the video samples taken with it it was uh, used in a very early morning so it wasn't uh, too much light out it was also very cloudy it was before it started to rain so you can uh, see the camera performance in uh, that situations and hopefully later in the following days i will be able to add some uh, daytime footage uh, but uh, it should be over a week because uh, we have a very cold weather here and it will last for some time
So that was the video footage taken with it. You have seen both cameras in uh, action. And uh, this will end uh, the second part of the video review. Uh, if you want to find more things about uh, this uh, GPS and uh, DVR unit, be sure to leave a comment below and I'm going to try to answer it as fast as possible. And also if you want to see other tests with it, well, let me know and I'm going to do a third part with uh, your uh, requests. See you until next time. Bye bye!